Rob here with ScrappyDoo.com and in this video tutorial is going to be shot and shortcuts lot 3 because some people were asking is it possible to still do the knockout effect uh, in shortcuts lot 3 well the answer is yes uh, you just have to go through a couple more steps and you know the program doesn't do it for you automatically where you know in shortcuts lot 4 we'd actually have an effect one button push in shortcuts lot 3 uh, it's just a couple more button pushes, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, get started here. I'm going to bring the layers uh, panel in here as well. So we have uh, the text here, feeling lucky. And uh, right now it is a text. Now we need to uh, ungroup this and uh, get everything the way that we would like, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and ungroup. Uh, that will allow me to uh, s select the lucky part. And we'll move that down, and we'll actually make this bigger here so we can see what's going on. Same thing with the, the feeling. We'll, uh, we'll move that and make that bigger as well. All right. So once you have the text, you know, where you want, now it's time to grab the image that you'd like to have knocked out, of course. So we're, we're just going to go over here, grab this uh, three-leaf clover, and uh, we're going we're gonna to grow it big. And um, while I'm thinking about it here, I'm going to go ahead and once you have the text set on where you want and everything, you can go ahead and highlight everything for the text that is and go to Path Union. And that will allow us to do what we're going to do next here. So we have the clover on top. And I'm going to select everything again. And we're going to go to Edit Copy. Okay, now with both of those selected, we're going to go to Path, and we're going to go to Back minus Front. So now you can see the uh, the three-leaf clover is punched out, but now we got to get that four-leaf uh, clover back in uh, to fill the gaps on where those letters were. So that's why we copied it to our clipboard, and now we are going to Paste in Place. Okay, so we're going to go to Edit, Paste in Place. Now we basically have everything again. And if you look over here, we have the two layers. So that the best way to do this without moving anything and making sure that you have the correct thing selected is you're going to select this right here. See, so autom automatically, if I have nothing selected and I select this bottom layer here that we just pasted on here, it will automatically, automatically select it. I'm going to hold the Shift button down, and I'm actually going to click the Clover part and now they are both selected and this is where we go to path and we go to intersection okay and that will fill in the gaps now you'll see that hey it's a you know I don't see any difference well let's go ahead and with with that layer selected we're going to change that color back to the green that uh, we had originally and you'll, you'll see what happens so there you go that's how you do the the knockout effect with uh, shortcuts lot three, you know it's just a couple more steps, and that should get you going. Now, if you're wanting to uh, check on that feature about the, uh, you know, the gaps, you know, in shortcuts lot four, we we're able to shrink that clover to give us a little more gaps. We can almost do the same thing with this. Is all all you have to do is right click, and you'll go to uh, right click. Go to Appearance, add a shadow, shadow layer, and this box right here will appear, and you just do an inset shadow. Okay, and we can increase the numbers there. You know, I can do it drastically so we can see what's going on here. And I'm going to hit OK, and now I can turn that off, and we can make this green just to show you that it is possible to. To have that nice little gap in between. Of course, you can turn the uh, the stroke color off if you need if you need the uh, the visual. So there you go. That's how that's how you do the knockout effect uh, in Shortcuts Lot Three. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, feel free to leave comments or questions in the uh, comment box down below, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.